Let's go and welcome back everybody to Fruits of the Literature Club. We're currently at a pretty emotionally charged turning point here. Natsuki opened up to us about her abuse. We told her that we'd protect her. We hung out with her today. She ended up confessing to us that she loved us. And to reciprocate, we said the same words to her that somebody we loved very dearly said to us. And apparently that person also passed away. The only person that could rival our love for Natsuki. So, as this mystery unravels, we should probably continue playing the mod and see what happens, guys. So without further ado, let's get into the episode and visit the one woman's grave that we loved so dearly. It's time for me to lay some flowers on your grave. It's the least I could do. Feeling my insides burning, I open my door and head to a very emotionally painful grave. Oh. No, no date. Okay, this is not what I expected to happen. Um, again, let's, let's see where the mod takes us though. I'm really hungry. When am I going to eat? My stomach growls loudly. It's been days. I lean back against the cold cement wall and try to look around in the darkness. I hear skittering coming towards me and a little squeak. Hi, I'm Mr. Malzy. Are you hungry too? I reach around and eventually feel a little animal next to me cradle it in my hands and pick it up, bringing it close enough for me to see it in the darkness. I reach into my pocket and receive some sunflower seeds. I made sure to save some for you too. I put a few of the seeds on my hand next to Mr. Malzy. He started to happily eat them. You're my friend, Mr. Malzy. Don't ask why I was doing a high-pitched voice. I, th I thought there was, like, two different people talking. I thought we were, like, in an insane asylum. I still don't know what's happening, but I think we're at least somewhat sane. Let's keep going. This is kind of freaky. I smile and giggle slightly as I watch my little furry friend eat his food. His stomach growls loudly again, startling me slightly. Once Mr. Malzy's finished eating the sunflower seeds, he runs off into the darkness again. The door opens and closes, signaling that father is coming. He steps down the stairs one by one, my panic increasing each step. I stand up slightly, silently, and desperately try to stick to the walls. Where are you, boy? I try my best to remain silent. I can hear you breathing. Oh no. Don't tell me you're dying. You've only been down here for three days. The human body can go up to five days without food. Without shutting down completely. <laughs> All of a sudden, I feel someone standing in front of me. Something grabs a hold of me by the hair. Got you. Uh, <laughs> let me go. Shut up. I struggle as hard as I can to break free, but it doesn't work. I feel something hard crash against my head. My body goes limp, I feel him dragging me in the middle of the basement. I am sick of you being so weak all the time. I'm gonna teach you how to be a man. My body hits the damp floor, he climbs on top of me. He beats me, I begin to feel numb and tingly. After a solid minute of him beating me, I feel completely numb. I can't even tell if He's in the room anymore. I start to feel extremely dizzy. Wake up! I didn't say you could sleep. Ugh. This is our room. I rise up from my bed completely out of breath. Oh, dream. The entire room is spinning. I can barely comprehend where I am. I try off my hardest to begin my breathing exercises to calm my heart rate. It was all a nightmare. Thank God. I wish I would stop having the exact one. I want to forget that night. Ah, 
Whew. I finally calm down and clear my head. I check my clock and realize that it's well into the night. Although the trip to Ashley's grave was a long time, I managed to get home a little before 23. Which means I only have been asleep for about two hours. School tomorrow. I should probably try to get back to sleep. <laughs> Dude, the, the 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 music shifts. Uh, they they always make me feel a little weird, man. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I guess that means that things are at least gonna be mm, okay for now. You know, nothing scary is gonna happen at least. But okay, we're starting to get a little dip into MC's past. Hmm. 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 Well. Uh, I tell you what, I completely understand why we want to protect Natsuki now. Haha, <laughs> wow. Damn, okay. Lunch period has begun. I to put my first half of the, day's, uh, of the day's notebooks, textbooks away and retrieve the second. Siori comes up in waves. Jesus, I feel like I haven't seen Siori in ages, man. Hi, Roar. Yo, Siori. What did you need? I was wondering if we could eat lunch today. I'm feeling lonely again. N no You're the one that's probably feeling lonely today. So we sticks out her tongue. Bleh. Unlike someone, I am quite alright alone. For sure, I'll eat with you today, Siori. Yay! Oh! Do you mind if we eat in a classroom instead of the lunchroom? Why? No reason. I'm going into the lunchroom. If you want to go eat in a classroom, then go ahead. But you said you would eat with me. In the lunchroom. Please. No. Tori shifts inside her shoes, as if she's hiding something. Will you just spit it out? What the hell is bothering you so much? It, it's... <clears throat> Tears begin to fill Siori's eyes. What is it? There are these girls in there, and they're real, really mean to me. Oh, no! Dude, we gotta protect all of the girls. We thought we were just protecting Natsuki, dude. Now Siori's coming on the plate as well. Oh, gosh. <sighs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when you're the main character, man? Everybody's gotta rely on you when you're the main character. Ah, I got you, Siori. Don't worry. Protection. The Siori Protection Squad, baby! Let's go. They're mean? Well, people are mean, Siori. You'll need to suck it up. No! <gasps> Siori pouts and looks, like me. looks at me like she's a scared puppy. Whatever those girls were doing to Siori, um, really has her adamant on avoiding them. And to see this coming from an eccentric, bubbly girl kind of irritates me. Fine, I'll eat with you in the classroom. Now nah, we should go to that lunchroom and just absolutely destroy those dumb bitches, man. No, that's not the right option, Rar. That's not gonna fix freaking anything. Let's just let's just make Siori happy. We'll eat in the classroom with her. But seriously, don't expect me to do this on a daily basis. Really? Yeah, but you need to do a favor for me in return. What is it, Rar? Show me who these girls are. What? No, I, I can't. Why? Because if you say something, the girls will be mean to you too. No, Siori, you can't protect me when I'm protecting you. It doesn't work that way. No, it does, though. They're, 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 a relationship is always a give and take. Thank you, Siori. And I don't want that. Anything that some bitchy high school chick say to me won't bother me, I assure you. To be fair, he's right. We're, we're right, okay? If you think something like that's gonna affect us, champ, I'm sorry, but we got a lot more on our plate. And I'm not saying it shouldn't affect you, Siori. You know, it's it's okay. You're not weak for it. But us, we just... I'm not, I don't want to say we're on another level, but there's just other things that matter more to us, Siori. What some freaking... 
Uh, dude, I already got a girlfriend. Her name's Natsuki, okay? I don't need to please the women. I don't care what my reputation is in this school. I got a cute girl that's gonna stay by my side forever, along with you, Siori. We got the literature club. We're celebrating the festival. We got it all planned out. These girls don't matter. I've heard much worse than what they can say. Siori hesitantly guides me into the lunchroom and points to a group of the girls on the benches. I study the girls carefully and then depart to an empty classroom with Siori. Siori returns to her cheerful self and we sit down at the two desks together. But I can tell she still has the underlying sense of sadness because of the bullies. How could someone bully Siori? I mean, I haven't necessarily been nice to her, but not to the point where I'm bullying her. I look down at my tray of food. Beef stew with potatoes. Siori's is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with animal crackers and a strawberry milk carton. Dude, Siori's cute as hell, man. Like, what the hell? What, 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 what? Why do they make every Doki girl just so cute? It's not fair. It's just not fair. Why can't anime girls exist in real life? Why? Life is suffering without anime girls. Can you believe... It, it's crazy to me. It, it's honestly... It's more crazy to me. Like, like, like my point of view i should say of that how i like i find anime girls like more attractive than real women like what what isn't that so weird they're just perfect <laughs> i'm not saying like their personality is perfect clearly 3d women got the better personalities they got some depth dude they got the juice not to say that an anime girl always has to be like 2D. Anime characters can have depth, but like, come on, man. Nothing compared to like a real girl. But in terms of looks, dude, you, you just can't beat the anime girl. You can't. You just, you gotta settle for the 3D. Speaking of the strawberry milk carton, there's, there's like this little like cute uh, purse, I guess. Like, I guess you would call it a purse, but it's like essentially like just a really big milk carton. And like it opens up and you like put stuff in there to like store it. It's so cute looking. I was considering buying it. It was on Amazon. It's only like $15. Maybe one day. Maybe one day when I'll when I use a purse. <laughs> Which might actually happen. I know it sounds like a joke, but it's not though. <laughs> As I begin to consume my melodramatic meal, uh, I ask Yuri a burning question. Yuri, something's been on my mind since you told me about those girls. What were they doing to you? Do I have to tell? I'm not forcing you, but yes, I'd appreciate it if you told me. What are you planning to do? Don't worry about it, Siori. I'm just curious to see why anyone would, anyone would think of bullying you. What does that mean? Well, Siori, you're a little special, and normally people don't bully the special people, okay? Okay? From what I've observed... You're liked by pretty much everyone in the school. Do these girls specifically have some vendetta with you? Uh, I can tell you. I ate all their cookies. Siori! <laughs> but you can't laugh or be a meanie. I'm being completely serious right now. We were in gym class and I was changing back into my uniform. And they saw me... Naked. And made fun of my... Suri looks down at her chest and adjusts her blazer to cover her breasts. They were saying that I wasn't... Big. Oh, oh, oh. It's so cute and funny. Siori, I like flat-chested girls. Oh, gosh. Please, please, MC, please say it. Please say it. She, you don't have to say yourself, MC, but you gotta be like... You know, there's some guys that are into that. You know, that's always the retort. Please say it. We need Siori to know that flat is justice, my dude. Because it is. Oh, man, please. And that I should be ashamed of myself. And that I shouldn't act happy all the time and just be normal. Oh, no. So fucked up, dude. Just let Siori live her life, man. Which I am normal. Quite the contrary, but please continue. Then they start to laugh at me, and they took my change- uh, They took my change of clothes and made fun of my undergarments. Oh my god, they made fun of your cute 
panties that probably have like a, a teddy bear on it. Come on, why? Okay, we're in high school. I guess it is, a, uh, it, it, I, I could understand why it would be joked about, but it's, I find it so cute. <laughs> cute trumps everything for me nowadays. I, you know, I used to be into like that, you know, Ooh, so seductive. I take it to the candy shop. Now I'm like, dude, just give me the cute girls. Just just give me the cute girls. Just give me the cute girls. It made me really sad. And I wanted to run home and cry. I think I've heard all I needed. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna be like some bad guy and capture the those evil vixens? <laughs> no. Am I some kind of joke to you? I thought it was funny. As I said, don't worry about it. Let's just eat our lunch, okay? Okay. <laughs> the nerve of Siori. To compare me to some fictional superhero. Albeit it was rather clever of her. But I am no master caped superhero hiding in the shadows for evildoers. I'm something much different than what fantasy can conjure up. I'm just human. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Siri and I eat our lunches with occasional small talk until we're done. I walk into the classroom, or the club room, and the girls are already at their desks, ready to start the week. Last one again, huh? Well, almost. All of us but Natsuki is here. Oh no, don't tell me it's already going to take a dark turn again. Where is she? Can't say that I know. She called out of school today. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Natsuki hasn't taken a day off of school a single time since I started coming here. Alright. So what's on the itinerary? I was thinking that we could take it easy on our events today since Natsuki is gone. I know that she'd be pretty upset if we had fun without her. Yeah. Plus she probably misses Rar. Uh, all of them know that she's in love with me, dude. <laughs> I'm sure she misses all of you too, not just me. Sure. <laughs> So with that said, why don't we all sit down and chat for a little while and maybe read? Anything productive and relative to lit related to literature is sure to be fun that we can all partake in. Monica's voice emanates around the classroom with an electrifying excitement. Sorry, I don't think I did that voice justice then. Electrifying excitement. <laughs> oh, oh, I have an idea. What is it, Siori? Why don't we all tell stories? Stories? What a fantastic st uh, idea, Siori. <laughs> what type of stories? The ones that have an exceptional plot and eccentric characters? Maybe we can all come up with our own stories. Or even tell some from, uh, from the funny or happy events we've all experienced. That sounds really fun. Siori so hops and giggles to herself, probably coming up with some silly... Uh, <clears throat> escape, es oh my gosh, escapade, Jesus, I'm like, I know this word, why, why is it like deleted from my memory right now, escapade to share with us, I guess it could be a little amusing, Yuri smiles smugly to herself, all right, let's do it, I'll give us all a few minutes to think, and with that being said, we're gonna end the episode here because we're about to tell stories! Story time! Let's go! So, we'll have to wait for next episode for that, since it'll probably be quite a long one, I assume. Thank you for watching, everybody. Like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below. Anything you want. Type a... You know what? It, we'll, we'll do one of these. Type a... It, 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 we gotta do this to confuse people, okay? Type... 792... Q T Y Z three. Okay, that's what you gotta type if you're on the level. Okay, let me know that you're on the level. But with that being said, I also live stream on Twitch every day besides Monday and Friday, multiple hours a day, endless eye goals, raw content. These videos are 20 minutes long. My Twitch streams every day are like four hours long. So again, if you want so much more content over there, feel free to come to my Twitch. It's just right at the top of the description. Twitch! Even if you've never used it, I'd recommend it. Live streaming and participating in the live streams is awesome. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Much love, take care, and have a damn good one.